How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. Today I'm at the Orlando Airport. However, I'm gonna talk about how to fake a direct deposit for your checking account. Sometimes you need to do something like this because your checking account have these direct deposit requirements and sometimes you might not have employment in order to make the direct deposits. I know at most employment places, sometimes they offer you a direct deposit and you can split your paycheck up into three different ones that's the most I've ever seen. Most of the time, it might even be just one direct deposit. So if you have three separate direct deposits, you can have three separate checking accounts that have direct deposit requirements and then you can feed it into each one. Therefore, you can waive the monthly fee because you have direct deposit in those different checking accounts. So if you happen to get um, all these checking accounts that gets you, you know, free money for initially signing up, you need to be able to put direct deposit in so that you can uh, keep on not having to pay that monthly fee. So here it is, this is how you can do it. If you have online savings account, you can do automatic transfers. You can schedule this to do it once every single month. So you can do up to six um, transfers in a savings account. That's the maximum limit um, by federal limits. However, if you go over the six transfer limit for a savings account, they'll likely charge you about a $15 fee and I've gotten charges fee before. So the best way to do this is probably with a checking account because you want to be able to uh, transfer in and then you schedule another transfer out so therefore your direct deposit requirements are completely satisfied you can do it with a savings account but use like a burner savings account so that you don't go over the limit if like for some reason you use like four or five transfers and then you want to transfer two more for some reason for some legitimate purpose then you really want to keep a separate account a savings account because you don't want to reach that limit and then go oh no i don't have any more transfers left and then this might be a hassle so you want to use a um, a separate account you know some of them have a direct deposit of five hundred dollars or so um, so you keep just enough in there and then it would transfer out into those accounts uh, $500 let's say first of the month and then you wait maybe like five days and then you transfer it back and voila right there direct deposit satisfied so thanks for watching everybody don't forget to give me a like on this video comment down below if you're interested in supporting my channel check out my audible link down below I have a patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video Thanks for watching.